Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Good morning. Uh, it's about 7:20. <laughs> my, my getting up is getting a little bit later. I'm uh, starting to feel like I'm a little tired. We've been going, been going at it straight since uh, since Tuesday, and it is Friday today. So we're still working ground. We haven't started planting yet. We're still getting after it. We're getting a bunch done. We're getting everything smoothed off and, and ready for planting. Probably next week we'll switch back to the drill. And we're going to hammer down and get all that stuff done. Um, but we want to have that ground in good shape while we have the good weather to do it. So um, I'm going to pull in here in the shop and see if I can find somebody to take me to my tractor so that I can get started for the day. But that's what's going on right now. And uh, well, I guess we'll see how the day goes. But it's just going to be more of the same. At least hopefully. Unless there are some surprises. So let's check it out. Let's go. <clears throat> All right, we're back after it again. Plowing away. This looks. This field looks really good. It was plowed before it rained, and uh, melted it down, and now it's breaking it back up. So it's actually a welcome sight from what I've been plowing. This is this is kind of pretty. So we're gonna keep hammering away at it. Some of the same old, same old. But I just wanted to show you what it's looking like. So it's, uh, it's pretty. Maybe I'll get get lucky and get some more pretty fields like this to plow today. All right, everybody. Uh, day two here, Saturday. Um, so we're gonna get back after today, hopefully. But if you look at my window there, we did get just the slightest bit of rain this morning. I can't tell if it was enough to stop us from anything. I doubt it. Um, it looks like it's still looks like it's still fine. Um, I mean, it was just a little bitty shower. We just narrowly missed the bigger shower that would have really given us a good uh, flush, good watering on this other rice that uh, that we really needed. But you know, sometimes you don't get the free water you want. So um, we're either complaining about a rain or or hoping for a rain. That's just kind of how it always goes. We we've had a whole lot drier uh, week or so than in the spring in May than we've had in forever so we're really enjoying it we're trying to get some stuff done but when it dries that out it dries everything that you've already planted out too which uh, is not ideal and so we're having to uh, it's what we call flushing the field so basically we're just running the water onto the field and as soon as everything's wet we'll drain it right back off I'll show you what this looks like right here this is one of the ones we're doing it on So we've talked about before that the fields are zero grade so um, this is actually sake rice out here and it's actually up about that tall or maybe a little taller and it looks really good we've got a good stand but um, like I say when the ground dried out and crusted over it just needs that um, that extra bit of moisture to keep going and get a boost to grow up even taller so uh, Uncle Carl started the water on that yesterday and as you can see it's already getting across it as soon as the whole field's wet he'll drop the water off and um, we will go from there so if you do get a rain then you don't have to pump that water and it's all free so that's why a rain would be really great right now but it is what it is Okay, the other thing we got going is I've been running this plow for um, the past week since uh, Tuesday. Tuesday? 
I don't know, things are running together, but they've been running it since Tuesday, today, Saturday, and we had run it before, the time before when it dried up. And so what happens is the actual plows on the on the cultivator, the, uh, the wedge-shaped um, plow that actually digs into the ground, after going through the ground over and over and over and over and over again um, for hundreds of acres, it gets worn down. The metal actually wears down because if you think about it, the sand in the soil is abrasive um, and it, it's going through that all the time. It's almost like sandpaper on that plow just constantly. So I noticed yesterday that they're starting to wear down pretty bad and what that happens is they get skinnier and they don't catch all of the grass and stuff like that that you're wanting to plow up and kill when you're out there. So um, I think Pubble ran to Greenway yesterday and grabbed me some and um, I think Emilio is going to help me change a few of them right now because they're getting thin. I'll see if I can show you what I'm talking about but that's uh, that's a project I have to take care of before I even get out and try to plow today so let's get after it. Alright I've put the camera down I forgot to to video this but this is what we were dealing with here these are the new plows so um, I didn't change the whole first two rows because some of them still have a lot of left on them but like here's an example of one that's wearing pretty bad so you can see compared to the other ones um, it's wearing down pretty thin and getting skinnier but I just kind of wanted to change the worst ones because we got to go over a bunch more acres and I don't want to want to get my money's worth out of them before we change them because you're not going to put old plows back on ever so just kind of want to make sure we're doing that right and getting the most out of them we can got it greased up got the basket dug out that was clogged now I'm getting fuel and we're gonna hit the road All right, we are full of fuel and about to get on the road. We're going back to Snake Island to get one of those fields that we couldn't get the other day. And then uh, we're gonna see how it goes from there. There might be a couple other fields over there that are dry by now. So, full of fuel, ready to go. I do have one kind of interesting thing here. So, let me turn the mic around. Okay, so, see the floor? It's carpet. So every John Deere tractor we've had before is a, uh, it has a rubber floor. And this one does too underneath this carpet. But this is the more luxurious tractor that just came this way when we got it. It has the leather seats and all. And apparently one of the upgrades is uh, carpet. <laughs> I don't really understand uh, carpet in a tractor, but you know, hey, that's where it goes. So, yeah, I don't really understand the logic behind that because tractors are one of the dirtiest things. I mean, I don't know. So it had cardboard over it and I've been just uh, been running it with the cardboard in the floor, but it was getting really nasty and dirty and there's really no way to clean cardboard. So I pulled everything out, swept out the rubber floor underneath and then put the carpet back in. But um, I'm going barefoot right now because it's so clean. Maybe that's why you go barefoot and it's just really comfortable and nice. Who knows? But anyway, we got it. We'll use it until we trash the carpet and then we'll go back to the rubber floor, I guess. So whatever works. Still barefooting it. It's the life. It's Saturday, so I'm taking it a little easier, you know? Okay, so um, I've been plowing and plowed. This is my second field for the day. Um, I wanted to point out that this field is pretty wet. I'm just finishing it up right now. I'm about to fold up and head out. Um, it's pretty wet. It had a lot of grass in it, a lot of umbrella sedge, a lot of stuff we don't want, so we got to get it plowed and get it killed. I'm going to let it sit in the sun for uh, probably a couple days and come back and plow it again. But, uh, this is a much sandier field than most of our fields, than most of our, our ground that we have. So I'm used to, for the past several days, I've been going through these fields and if it's wet, you can't even go through it. You sink in, you slide the tires, you're gonna ball up the baskets on the plow. 
But this field, I could literally plow through standing water and it wouldn't hurt anything. And in fact, I did. All right, I'll show you right here. There was a little standing water and I did plow through it and it looked fine. It even chopped it up just like I wanted it to, where it can dry. I mean, you can see how wet that is it's still glistening with uh, with water and I just plowed right through it it's just the difference in in uh, types of dirt makes a huge difference uh, it burns less fuel the tractor does in these fields it's just it's just crazy how much a lighter dirt how much a difference that makes so I think I'm gonna head back over to headquarters I'm over in Snake Island here right now so I'm gonna head back over there and I think Uncle Shane has floated a field that they want me to go back and plow so that's your little update. This field looks good. It'll dry out in a couple days and be able to go back over it and then uh, get it all smoothed up and good to go. So, see ya. So, Helena wanted me to make a short video today about whatever because Harrison's was short and she needs something to add to the end of it. So, I didn't know what to do until y'all showed it. Um, well, first, let's just say. Do you like coming to the farm? Yes. Yes. Okay, why do you like coming to the farm? Tractors. You like fishing? Well, I don't go a lot considering we never really have the time, but yeah, it's fun. I just don't like when you do it for like so long and then you catch nothing and then you yeah. just sat in the sun for like... That's right. I always say I'm a catcher, I'm not a fisherman. If they don't bite within 30 minutes, I'm going home. So, Nora, you think you'd like fishing? got a little cabin over here. I've only tried it once, so that was with my best friend, but I never really caught anything. Yeah, you think you'd like to catch something? Yeah. If you caught it, would you eat it or let it go? Let it go. Eat it or let it go? Let it go, because I'm not much of a fish person. But I like fish, so if you caught fish and you were going to bring them to me for a you know, fish dinner. What kind do you like? About anything. Okay, so the minnows sound no. like good? <laughs> no. no, but I've, I've had minnows before in Japan. Are they good? No, they weren't. <laughs> they were kind of, kind of um, bitter. Let's have a, let's have a best hair contest. Samuel, your hair looks really nice. <laughs> no, your hair looks really nice. So. Okay, let's see. You ready? Winner! I've got one or two that looks pretty good. <laughs>